Hey guys, J.P. Dillon. Today we're going to talk about a subject that's kind of irritating to me, and that's counterfeit SDKs. Uh, I have an old Marantz SR1000 in for service that's got a defective SDK module. It's almost impossible to get inside, so I ordered what appeared to be a reputable source, and they said it was an original Sanyo, but just by the weight of it, it obviously isn't. So. I decided to open this thing up and I, I wanted you to see something here that's really kind of frightening. Now, uh, original SDKs uh, are all put together in a single monolithic package with a bunch of wafers and stuff. It's all connected with uh, ultrasonic, uh, ultrasonic mending. And they look like a little city. The first thing that troubled me about this was the incredibly thin piece of aluminum, that's the header. And also the fact that the aluminum was recessed into the plastic, meaning the plastic stuck out more than the aluminum. Which meant that even if you mounted this thing with the heatsink transfer compound, it wouldn't actually be touching the heatsink. So it's kind of useless. I've already taken this one apart, so that's why there's fairly amount ease to it. So the first thing I see is rather than the uh, typical type thing, uh, I see the back of a circuit board that's printed and this was literally super glued, just super glued, onto the back of these transistors here, which are not flat, they're very uneven, and so there would be very poor heat transfer of any. Now taking this out of the frame here, we see that this is just encased in potting compound. Uh, and there are a couple of input transistors here, and uh, the rest of it is all buried in this potting epoxy type thing. Well anyway I received this and it was supposed to be brand new and working but both channels uh, have open driver sections. The reason why I know that is because of the horrible crossover distortion that occurs under load and rectification under load and when I take the load off it looks good. So uh, something in here one or more components is open and that could be because the potting compound is ate through it or because of a manufacturing defect but you really will never know. Uh, so this is junk, uh, and I paid $29 for this junk, so now there, there is a dispute uh, that this is a defective piece. And I'll probably never see that money again because, well, it's eBay. Uh, at any rate, that's a counterfeit. I wanted to show you what the inside of the original one looked like, but it's almost impossible to get into. They've really sealed it up well. We'll see if we can get into it, and I'll show you the difference, and if not, then we'll, uh, we'll take another SDK apart of originality, and you can take a look at that instead. So here's the difference between the two after busting them open. And you can see that this is very well constructed. Uh, they've got those four match devices there. And usually what happens, and what's happened in the case of this, is the uh, leads have burned open because one of the transistors is shorted. And it usually takes out a number of components. Uh, but the weight of these things is substantially different. Even without their covers, this is heavy. Uh, we can see that the aluminum header is really thick in comparison to the thin and flimsy one there. That's maybe 20 gauge steel. And this is looking more like 16 gauge, or 20 gauge aluminum rather. Uh, the foil traces are big and scary. It's very well constructed, whereas this is basically just somebody's cheap attempt to put a bunch of components inside of a package and put it all together. These look like TO220 style outputs. They're probably Darlington's like TIP30s or 31s, which aren't a bad thing. It's just poorly executed. It's just cheap. So I'm on the hunt for another one of these things, and uh, when it comes in, We'll either try it and see if it works or not. I can always try to uh, repair the broken lead, but the meter says it's bad, so that's kind of a waste of time. But anyway, just wanted to show you the difference between the, uh, the good one and the counterfeit. So be very careful about what you're buying, because uh, these things are harder and harder to find these days unless you get a junky one in epoxy like this. This is crap. Anyway, hope this is uh, useful to you in helping to identify things or stuff to come.